Hey everyone, it's Road to Retire, the channel where I try to retire early. Pretty self-explanatory, right? Let's get right into it. Let's talk Amazon Influencer Program. Now, I know whenever I do videos on the Amazon Influencer Program, it doesn't get that many views. That's because not that many people have access to even do the Amazon Influencer Program. But nonetheless, this channel is all about documenting my journey, trying to retire early. So it's one of the side hustles that I had a focus on, maybe from like may to about august i had a very heavy focused into the amazon influencer program so what happened there's a lot of buzz among the community among the influencer community there's a lot of buzz about it because they've kind of i don't, I don't want to say screwed over the influencers because i don't look at it like that but essentially they made it harder for the videos from influencers to get pushed into the like carousel or whatever. Uh, that's what everyone's complaining about. It's that like the influencer videos aren't showing up first or mixed in with all the other review videos. Personally, it's like, I think everyone in this situation is so greedy. I don't even understand why Amazon pays influencers because if you think that Amazon needs any help with marketing, think again i i understand their concept behind it it's like they're getting people to do the marketing for them and they're paying out by per sale so they don't really have to set like a set budget i guess you would say it's just a percentage of sales versus like any kind of like paying out direct marketers but people got greedy with the amazon influencer program and people were pushing hundreds of videos and they were getting i, I saw people on youtube that were outsourcing videos, meaning like they would buy the product, have other people build it for them, have other people do the video, and then they would just post it on their page. And it's like, that kind of, sh like you're just, I, I know there's nothing unethical about it, but it's just like really, you're really gonna like abuse the system that much where it's like you're not gonna give other influencers a chance. You're gonna buy out everything that's like selling with capital that a lot of us people can't afford to dish out. People got greedy with the Amazon Influencer Program and I think a lot of people took it for granted. I never did. The, my numbers, if I made anything more than like $100 a month, I was just like blown away that I can make any money off of this and if I made 100 bucks a month, I was gravy. So. Let's be perfectly clear though, I was making a lot more than $100 a month during July, the prime season. And it is uh, against the terms of agreement to show your dashboard. So I'm going to show it without any numbers, without any uh, indicators. You can just see where the graph, so the red graph is clicks that my videos have gotten and the green is money earned during that month. So I'm not showing any money or whatever, but I can tell you that July I made over a thousand dollars and you can see that it's just not been the same since. I think right around September, they made the switch to like hiding the videos a little bit more from influencers. And October is above and beyond the worst month that I've had. I don't count May because I only got like halfway through the month. October is on pace for like 150, dollars and it's like me personally i think that's awesome that i'm getting any kind of money from this but there's a lot of people who are making thousands and thousands of dollars a month from this like my best month over a thousand dollars would have been a lot of people's like worst month this year who are doing it hardcore and they're getting a lot com they're getting a little bitchy for my liking complaining about the influencer stuff but it's like look if you're Amazon, you've got more than enough marketing at this point, and you don't really need influencer videos to drive your sales. Plus, you kind of, from the Amazon perspective, you kind of want the reviews to be unbiased of products. And if you start pushing influencer products more, obviously, a person who's incentivized to make money is going to give more positive reviews on that product. They're not going to be as genuine. So it kind of taints the review process in a way. So from like a morality standpoint, do you really want influencers being the main center of attention? Not really. So what's the bottom line here? This is not going to be a reliable source of income at all. Now, truth be told, I haven't done many videos the past like month and a half just because I've been focusing on my transition to my new day job. But all my money-making products have seemingly earned zero dollars in the past like two or three months. So 
I know you can do update videos and whatever, maybe delete and re-upload and you get better luck that way, but it's just like, it's not nearly as passive as it was anymore. I'm not seeing nearly the same results, but that's okay. That's why you diversify with your side hustles. If you're gonna go this route, where you're going heavy in the side hustles and you gotta keep searching, keep thinking that there's better things out there. Uh, it's a shame that this one went a little bit downhill. I'm sure I'll be make, I'll be able to cash out every single month until like the end of the year or whatever, but it looks like, you know, the days of the Amazon influencer program being like this huge prime uh, money making machine, maybe a little bit past us. I'll see if I do some like toy reviews or whatever before Christmas time because I've never had a Christmas season since I started in May. Maybe that'll boost things again and I will, you know, shut my mouth and do a makeup video saying I'm sorry, I doubted it. But until then, it looks like it's gone a little bit downhill, so we'll see. I'm still earning some money from it, so I can't complain. Free money is awesome money at this point. I'm not doing any work, so it's for me, it's free and passive. But we'll see if it improves at all, and I'll keep everyone updated. So hope you enjoyed this video on the Amazon Influencer Program, and I'll see everyone in the next Road to Retire video.